Hello, I'm Sam from Lindo Guitars, and today we're going to be checking out this absolutely beautiful travel sized guitar, the Lindo Ryoku. This guitar is part of our Japanese collection and was released to celebrate Lindo's 20th anniversary of making quality instruments. Now this whole range has been super popular and I think it's easy to see why because along with being great sounding instruments, these things are real works of art. Let's go over some of the features. So Ryoku is actually the Japanese name for travel and hence the name, this is obviously a three-quarter size travel guitar with a scale length of 23 inches. Let's start by going over some of the aesthetic features because this thing is absolutely stunning. The design of this guitar is obviously heavily inspired by traditional Japanese artwork and it's got a really lovely purpley bluey grey colour palette running right from the bottom of the guitar all the way to the top of the headstock. The graphic design on the front of the guitar depicts a stream running through a really beautiful Japanese mountainscape. And if you liked the front, then wait until you see the back because there is an absolutely stunning illustration of Mount Fuji and then this really nice stream in the foreground surrounded by cherry blossoms and foliage. It's really stunning. The artwork on the body is beautifully complemented by this absolutely gorgeous baked maple binding that runs around the whole of the guitar and then of course you've also got this really nice exposed wood grain on the side um, that really balances out the striking look of the graphic design on the front and back. Another really unique feature on the Ryoku is a soaked through dyed maple fretboard. Just as it sounds, this is a really interesting design process that involves soaking maple wood in dye to create this really striking colour. This isn't any kind of lacquer or finish, the dye soaks right through to the core of the wood, creating a really durable fretboard that's colour will never perish. The fretboard also features some incredibly intricate, genuine abalone seashell and maple inlays that fit the vibe of this guitar perfectly. They represent the five elements in Japanese philosophy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and void. The sixth and final inlay on the twelfth fret is the Japanese symbol for harmony. If you want something truly unique and eye-catching, then you can't really go too far wrong with the Ryoku. In terms of construction, the guitar has a spruce top, it's got sapili back and sides, as I've already mentioned, this gorgeous dyed maple fretboard and bridge, and then it's also got a bone nut and a bone saddle. One of the most unique construction features on all of the Japanese range are the composite necks. Now these necks look absolutely stunning, but they're a lot more than just an aesthetic feature. Firstly, it's a more environmentally conscious design choice than a traditional guitar neck because the manufacturing processes involved use considerably less waste. And then secondly, the composite wood we use is actually incredibly sturdy and handles things like temperature and humidity changes really well, which is particularly important on a travel sized instrument where you're going to be taking it on the road quite a lot. Now both tone and weight are big parts of what make a fantastic travel guitar. The Linda Ryoku has a really interesting and unique hollowed out bracing design that reduces the internal mass of the guitar. By hollowing out the bracing, you allow the guitar to resonate much better, creating an instrument that sounds full of life without compromising on the structural integrity of the guitar, whilst also making it that little bit lighter. Now to quickly go over the very last few features on the guitar, we've got these really nice Lindo Chrome machine head tuners that provide fantastic tuning stability. And then this guitar also actually features glow in the dark fret markers, which is a really nice and useful feature because it allows you to see what you're doing, even if you're playing in the dark. This guitar is super comfortable to play. The shorter scale length means those frets are that little bit closer together than on a traditional size guitar, um, which means that big stretches are really nice and easy to do. It's obviously also very nice and lightweight given its size, um, and it's got a really comfortable C-shaped neck that feels really nice and effortless to play. Then of course we've got this deep cutaway up here which makes accessing the higher frets really nice and easy, which makes this guitar perfect for someone that enjoys playing both rhythm guitar and lead guitar. In terms of tone, for such a small guitar, the Ryoku actually has a really fantastic bass response. Overall, this guitar has a really rich and balanced tone that sounds great whether you're finger picking or strumming away on cowboy chords. 
The Linda Ryoku features the BS 3M preamp. Now this is actually a really cool bit of kit because not only does it feature the standard piezo under the bridge that you would expect, but it also actually features a sound hole microphone. I find this really captures a lot of the warmth that is sometimes lost with a piezo, and especially on a slightly smaller guitar, it really helps reintroduce a little bit of the bass that's lost with having such a small body. The preamp has a really easy and intuitive design. You've got a volume knob just here, and then you've got a three band EQ, so bass, middle, and treble. And then you've got this mixer knob up here, which basically controls the ratio of mic to piezo coming out of the guitar. And then finally, you've got this notch knob just here, which basically cuts out certain specific frequencies that might be causing feedback, which is actually really helpful to have in a live context. It also comes with a built-in tuner, so to access that, you just hit the tuner button here, the LED screen will light up, and you can really easily and quickly get your guitar in tune. Now last but not least, it's also got a phase button, which is a really useful feature, which essentially reverses the polarity of one of your audio signals, um, which mitigates any phase cancellation issues that might be negatively affecting your guitar tone. Now one thing that we're really proud of here at Lindo Guitars is that every single one of our instruments gets a full professional setup right here in our Bristol headquarters before we ship them out to you. This ensures that when one of our guitars arrives on your doorstep, it's going to be playing and sounding great straight out of the box. Now that we've gone over all of the features, let's hear a little bit more of what this thing sounds like. First up, I'll mic it up so that you can hear exactly what it sounds like acoustically in the room, and then I'll plug it into the computer so that you can get an idea of what this preamp sounds like too.
So this has been a quick demo of the Lindo Ryoku. You can find this guitar along with many other amazing models on our website. Thank you for watching and take care.